Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nico, getting ready to defend right here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Crown versus Shulk. Does SoCal have any crowns? Oof. I think we had some day one and then none and like none after that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how familiar Nico is with the matchup. I know he's been going out of state a lot recently, but you know, you just you never know, dude. You might catch him by surprise a little bit. Yeah, I'm really but, curious uh, to what the dynamic of this set is going to be like, man. Right. Yeah, because the same thing could be said for uh, for Rivers. I'm not sure there's too many Shulks in Tri-State, are there? Uh, there's not really Shulks in general. <laughs> <laughs> And honestly, if it ends up being pretty bad, he might end up switching to Diddy. I doubt right, it, though. Yeah. I doubt it. I know Diddy yeah. does good against swords, but like Shulk is kind of everywhere, so it's not really right, the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah PS2 oh. for game one right here. No surprises there. Nico always just PS2. Yeah, I swear, I saw Grand Finals. There was like nine or ten games of Cosmos. Every single yeah. game was PS2. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, already in shield mode. Okay, I like it. He seems pretty used to comboing Shulk in shield mode. A lot of players, like, they get that one hit, but then Shulk doesn't go anywhere, and they don't know what to do. And, uh, early little boxing right here, but it looks like, you know, Crom has the uh, percent advantage for now. And yeah, Nico answering back. Yeah, the, uh, the pressure that Shulk is able to put on, especially when you consider the amount of fear that gets put into the uh, the opposing player, just especially in Buster Monado, it does so much damage, everybody gets a little bit a little bit more on their toes when they see that, uh, that purple aura come out. Yeah, we got Rivers, man, catching those jumps, catching those landings, and applying pressure at the edge of the stage right now. Parry into nothing, classic. Good position for Nico right now. Yeah. Baiting out that grab and punishing with that back air. Now, forward air at the ledge is going to take the first stock, and this is a big deal. Yeah, Nico can definitely consistently gets that uh, that normal get up forward air. Uh, but Rivers, how's he going to take the stock right now? Especially with Shield Shulk, he's got to wait a bit. Yeah, he's, uh, he's backing off. Good call. Very good call. Really safe pressure coming out, man. I don't know. This, this matchup looks so foreign to me. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you guys are used to seeing Shulk, but like... Right, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Nair won. It's an up tilt. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be ready for those opportunities, because if you don't take out Shulk as soon as you can, man, you can run away with lead really hard. This is a little bit, we're seeing a little bit more aggression in the first stock, I think. Um, Nico obviously going to go back to uh, shield mode as soon as possible in the middle of a combo, but River's still in a really good position right now, looking for his edge guard. Oh, and he gets reversed on a little bit. All right, going into buster mode for this. Yeah, and we're back to the edge guard, and you can see how Rivers just changed his game plan a little bit. He was throwing out the shield a little bit more in at the edge instead oh, of no. you know trying to fight him. Excellent conversion, but not being in a, like a smash art is not going to be enough. Yeah, he doesn't even try to get the uh, parry punish because he knows it's way too far out there. Yeah, lots of respect coming out of Rivers, which he should against Stroll right, and Nico. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was actually a really good recovery out of Rivers, but a really good catch from uh, Nico. Yeah, I think... I think it's part of it is just Shulk, like he's so intimidating right there that you think he's just gonna throw it out. But so when Nico waits for it, it just it kind of messes up your tempo a little bit, and you're you know you're left wide open. And this is a really bad position to be in if you're Rivers. <laughs> All that pressure doesn't matter though. Oh, another near one conversion. Yep. He's catching Nico jumping, man. Uh, and uh, the explosiveness of Prom, we're gonna need some really good strings coming out of Rivers right now to bring back this lead. Wow, nice up, yeah, shield. What a scoop. Yeah. Beats him before the falling off air hits him, and now he's a smash. Scary. Yeah. He took all three stocks the same way. Forward air. <laughs> Forward air at the ledge. Hey, I mean, it works, it works, it works, right? Yeah. Good lead there for Nico. One game out of these right. best of five. Mm -hmm. Rivers, he's finding an answer. When you're, uh, when you're trying to recover his crom, it must be, like, super difficult to get around that because you're probably going to be going to the ledge no matter what just because, you know, recovery is very linear with the crom. But if Nico is just able to get those catches on the, um, you know, on the lag, it's, it's always going to be curtain. So he, uh, Rivers needs to try to stay on stage a little bit more if possible. All right, going on this on Town & City, this is actually, I don't know, I feel like it's Rivers' favorite stage because I always see him playing on this. I think he good. likes it for that, for the uh, for the up bees out of shield, just in case he uh, he whiffs it. It makes it a little bit less uh, possible for him to get punished. Yeah. Prom also a really good character of killing off his side, but so is Shulk, so he's got to watch out. 
Yeah, he's usually going to KO with like Jab Bear or like right. uh, the near forward smash, and that's always going to be off the side. Don't, I don't really know too many options where Chrom will KO off the top. Really. Right, yeah. Good position for Nico. River's able to escape, reset. Oh man, it's pressure from Smash. Oh. Yeah, nice call by Nico. Switching off of it so he doesn't have to take more damage. Exactly. I really like the uh, the respect being shown by both players. Like, you hit my shield, okay, now my turn. And then now you can hit my shield again. <laughs> yeah, a lot of unfortunate whiffs, man. Like, Chrom does not have the range that Shulk has right. to offer. Yeah. He tends to make up for it in power, but even so, not quite getting the kill yet. Yeah, that backer not even enough yet. Oh, beautiful. See, Town and City, though, saving him. Right, yeah, it's uh, Rivers counter pick kind of coming back to hurt him, but it's not hurting him there. Yeah, it's fine. It's extra percent for the forward tilt, so uh, getting the stock lead. Here we go. Going for a little ride. <laughs> a little, a little ride, a little ride. Uh, but he's yeah, back. Nico said no. Yeah, he said shield, man. <laughs> shield. Oh, Very I've never smart. seen that in my Very life. Very smart stuff. I mean, I've seen every single counter against Krom. I've never Except seen that. Shulk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. The vision. It takes two extra seconds, but you're still dead. <laughs> Beautiful catch. That was one thing I was curious about if it worked or not. And we, we saw right, it. Yeah. He exploded. The timing. <laughs> oh. I'm surprised and, and, you didn't go for the counter there, too. Especially to be Smash Art. Too. Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, I guess the grab in the shield. Oh, what's it going to be? Yeah. Nice patience. Oh. Right there, James waiting for an option. Really. Yeah, that was a very dangerous situation. If you missed that tech, that was uh, definitely curtains. Oh, now he's off stage. Another forward air on the get up. Yep, but just doesn't get the active frames in time. Yeah, just barely, uh, barely misses it out. Yeah, yeah you know, shield. you know, Rivers is looking for that shield pressure right there. Shield was pretty low. Oh, got the sweetest of spots there, but not enough on town yet. Oh. Back air out of nowhere. There we go. Ooh, cross up back air. You like it. Like it. But now you said he, uh, we got to look for an answer back from Nico. Good 26. Oh my god, that was almost. That was incredibly scary. <laughs> switch two shield mid combo, switch back to smash, also mid combo, and just like, oh my god. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought he was going to destroy him right there. Yeah, me too. I thought we saw the, I thought we were seeing the F smash coming out. But this is a great extra credit until that happened, and now Nico, got to bring this back with the Nico stock. Ah. Yeah, Nico only having a Buster and Shield art available right now. Uh, well, you got them all back right then, but uh, using the Shield right now to stop this pressure, try not to get comboed anymore. So now he's in a rough spot because now he's at 90 without Shield for a while. Right. Oh, good save control right here for James. Rivers. Oh, Forto, yeah. Forto. And that's why he likes Town City, man. Yeah. Good pick. Are the, uh, are the horizontal blast zones on Town City uh, bigger as well, or just the vertical one? The thing is, the stage is so wide that the blast zone is kind of really close oh, to right, it in yeah, comparison. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure if they uh, they made it bigger from four to ultimate like they did with the vertical ones. But, uh, you know, both players look very deep in thought right now. Yeah, one to one. Yeah, this is, uh, this is as a lot of like, people like to say, this is the flex game. Yeah. To, uh, you know, the winner of this one will obviously have a much easier time to, you know, finish out the set than if they drop down two to one. And the winner of this will advance into winner's quarters, so uh, this game three, a lot of weight on it. Good damage. It's also like a mental thing where, like, you're actually in that Chrom Uppy animation for, right, like, yeah. multiple frames. Even if you um, even if you connect the Chrom Uppy, it just feels, like, unsatisfying somehow when they switch to Shield Art to, you know, Minimize the damage. Oh, this is the grab, and good stuff for Nico evading that. Now he's got him off stage in a bad scenario, but we got Rivers snapping the ledge, applying the pressure. Oh, looking for the forward to close it out there. Yeah, the run off forward tilt was. You didn't even need it though. <laughs> you know, Nair one F smash. Gonna take that 100% of the time. Man. That's brilliant because he's all up in his face, and then he right. is able to connect the good spot, the good hit of Nair one, and cancel it, and just. Eliminate that stock. Exactly. What we're really seeing is like who can over overwhelm the other one first. We're definitely seeing Rivers take that initiative in uh, this game and in game two. But we're gonna see what Nico can do about this combo. And now because he's a stock up, like Chrom side is definitely on the table for. Oh yeah. 
Oh, here we go. Is that? He went for the jump read. You know, that's the option you typically see in this game. But so, but uh, Nico, you know, scouting that out, he did not want to go out like that. Yeah. Good extra credit right now. Uh, Nico, how's he gonna take out this first stock from Rivers? That's it. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Back air is massive. Yeah, it's so deceptive. Good situation for Nico right now, but he lets him down pretty easily. Yeah, he can control a lot of space on this stage. Like, Smashville, be, like, being underneath uh, Krom like that it just applies so much pressure to him, but uh, River's very comfortable himself. Right. Very nice. I think he, he knew the uh, the shield art was coming there, so he went for the jab grab instead of uh, trying to go for the back air follow-up to get the kill. Yeah, that's actually a really good matchup now. And he's making it pay off really, really well. Yeah, you know, he wasn't really doing that game one, so it's showing the adaption right now. Oh, brilliant back, back air right yeah. there. And 49%, uh, that's really good. Ooh, good. I like the weight. I really like the weight. He's been, you know, acting very aggressive right there up until that point. So it was it was just a really good mix-up, but so was that. <laughs> Catching the roll with the smash art forward smash. And this game three, man, is yeah, punch Rivers, for punch. Rivers definitely not letting that slow his momentum. He's still just as aggressive, just as in Nico's face as he was uh, for the first two stocks. Up be out of shield, nice. So much respect going on right now. <laughs> Nobody's been hit in like 15 seconds. Yeah. Well, they know how much value comes in this game. Right. Krom kills early in general, and of course Shulk has the arts. So oh, there's a punish. Always going to be on your toes. Back to oh, fourth throw. That's a very scary position. Oh, oh is that oh, it? No, no, he's coming back. Yeah. Just barely. Yeah, the final frame, man. Honestly, like the pixels. And he gets that magnet hand. Oh, four, four tilt. Till, yeah. Now he's got a ledge trap. That's the game winner right there. Ledge trap right here. Doesn't matter. And that's Ooh. it. Revenge forward tilt by yep. Nico to end that, uh, end that third game. And he is going to go up 2-1 against Rivers. He hit him with the prom, dude. <laughs> Just dash up forward tilt. The baseball bat swing, man. Way more massive, though. And uh, Rivers got a tall task, taking out two games in a row against SoCal's number one. And this is really early to lose, too, so this is going to hurt if you want to fall on the losers right now. You're right. Did you see what stage we're on for this, I, uh, for this game four? I missed it, but we're going to catch it just in a moment. Uh, town of City Back again. To town, okay. Yeah, I like it. Two bands, no DSR, and uh, a very comfortable pick for Rivers. Right. So many hits right now. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Bet a lot of money on that one. <laughs> I don't dislike it. He's, he's chilling. He, he yeah, yeah, that was that was the uh, the I want to flex backslash. <laughs> oh, oh, he almost got away with it, but instead reversed by Rivers. Yeah, that was a huge gamble, but he was down a lot of percent. He just kind of threw it out. Right. And, you know, props to him because if it did hit, it would have been the stock, but... Yeah, Unfortunately but. for Nico, Rivers is still comboing him right now. Yeah, you don't want to get too comfortable. I mean, I know you're up two to one in the set, but you don't want to give free stocks to a top 20 player in the world. Yeah, much less free games. It's looking like Rivers is just, you know, he's mopping the floor with Nico right now. It's, uh, he's already lapped him in percent. Oh, tech option. Patience and gets it anyway. Rivers Three. looking amazing in this game four. Three stocks to one. Oh, the Crom side. Yeah. No, the shield art saved him. <laughs> he is very wary of it, but still. Oh, is this? Oh, he didn't even need to. He didn't even need to. And that's why you don't let Rivers go to Town City. Yeah. But uh, you know, as we know, Nico is gonna get counter pick, counter pick advantage for game uh, game five. I, I would be shocked to see him go back there. I mean, right? No, he's gonna be special again, probably. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Gotta wonder what a Rivers banned. I'd probably ban, honestly, like Battlefield and <laughs> Shulk. Right, yeah. All right, game five. Two to so. two. This is a very bad position for either player because whoever right. loses is 
has to claw their way through the bracket from guaranteed 17th. And that's a lot of sets to get to even the top eight. Or right. Immediate up, be out of shield. And, uh, you know, they're just swinging, man. Even if Rivers knows that Nico's going to switch to shield art for the up, be out of shield, it's still not going to give him enough damage to make it. Oh, oh it doesn't matter, dude. He's catching all these options coming out from Nico. He's playing on fire, man. He's carrying over the three-stock momentum. Yeah, Nico has not played the game. He did not play the game for, like, you know, 20 seconds there. Rivers just really oh, had his no. way with him. And now this is a really good position edge guarding. All right. Can't really do much in shield, but he's waiting it out. Now he has no access to shield. Forward tilt might do it. Yeah, you see him looking for it. It's very safe, especially he's only got 6% on him, so he's right. very comfortable. Back throw? No, nope, forward throw. He's waiting, waiting for the option, yeah. Shield might be coming back pretty soon. Forward tilt. No, oh, he's waiting. That's smart. Nico, though. He, oh, Ooh. no, no punish. Yeah, yeah, I think he um, thought Nico was going to go for the jump, but then, you know, Nico wasn't able to oh. punish either, so. Oh, that's it. Nah, that's stock. Massive lead from Rivers, man. Three stocks, four stocks. The, the last four stocks were all super clean from him. Yeah, I think he's really, uh, he's really making good use of Krom's, uh, you know, better frame data over Shulk. The arts do not change Shulk's frame data at all. Yeah, man. Rivers applying so much pressure in this game, but it doesn't matter. He's below the platform on Smashville against Buster Shulk. That's a lot of percent he took. Yeah, suddenly, man, this doesn't look that bad for Nico anymore. Oh, yeah, man. He has Smash a really ledge. good position. F throw. Wow. That's a stock. Oh, yeah. We got an even game yet again. Yeah, despite the complete savagery we saw from Rivers on that first stock, Nico is back in it, and we got an even game. Back throw. He's looking for oh, <sighs> even game, even set, and a lot of scary scenarios for Krom off stage. Yeah, that was, uh, that was definitely a life and death situation for Rivers right there. Yeah, momentum coming from Nico, man. He's seeing that he's on the back foot, losing four bad stocks in a row. I'll be out of shield. Yeah, Buster too, man. All this percent that he's gaining. Punish that? Yeah. He's, he turned off Buster right before he got punished for that. That was, a, that was just, you know, <laughs> that's Shulk, man. He's ready. Oh, no. Nice read on the retreat. Great jump over. Doesn't he get, like, less... Like height on his jumps in uh, Speed Monado, Speed Art. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit shorter, or maybe a lot. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you know he was looking for the tech chase into something or another. Uh, this next stock is so important, man. Oh yeah, Nico there knows. it is. Nico knows. Yeah, Nico's suddenly looking like a whole different person than the first stock. Last stock Rivers, man. Is is last stock Rivers a thing? No, no, I'm just saying. Uh, oh, last stock four rivers. Oh, yeah, it's last stock four him, yeah. I, I think Nico's probably more famous for uh, these last stock right, scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Nico stock. Rivers usually is just high momentum. Like, if he's three stocking you, that's a rivers game right there. But right, uh, right now, it's really, really even. <laughs> and uh, he's underneath Choke on Smashville. Yeah, that's a, that's a really rough spot to be in, as oh, you can see. Oh, no, man. Just trying to evade every single aerial, every single tilt. Here we go, though. Right, and now, start. now we're seeing Rivers being the one to chase Nico down, even like oh. more so than we've been seeing in the set so far, and it's yeah. making him pay a little bit for it. Great directional air dodge right to the ledge. Uh, Nico, had he been ready for that, could have destroyed him for it. I'll be out of shield. Yeah, man, people in the crowd, they're freaking out right now. They know this high pressure situation. Smash Minato online, man. I, you know, I thought Nico was looking for the air dodge, but uh, Smash Rivers is escaping for now. Oh, man. Smash Heart is gone, but he's going to be in oh. that spot. Barely misses the forward air, but now we got Rivers off stage at 100% on the last stock. Game five. Oh, a forward smash could do it. Is a he back air? Oh, oh, he hit him. He nicked him. That's it. Oh. Rivers going all the way out there. Game five, getting him in shield art. Yep. No less. Rivers advancing the winner's quarters. Wow, what a set, man. That was explosive from start to finish. Oh, man. You can feel the pain in yeah. Nico right there. Yeah, for for that set to end end in that particular way is just it's a really rough, really rough way to go out. Uh, and this is just the beginning of top yeah. thirty two for us, man. This is, there's so yeah. much more action lined up coming at you. So much is about to go down. So uh, I think I've seen Prodigy come up right now in the uh, the penguin suit extraordinaire himself. Oh man, this is very terrifying. Wait, Prodigy's in a penguin suit? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, he actually just got the upset on Pandarian, so 
Oh, uh, really? So I think this next match is actually a winner's quarterfinal match. If I'm looking at the bracket right, uh, let's see what we got.